so I am finished and I am walking back home and I'm gonna go back through the shortcut here it's a nice little mall out here they have a Japanese restaurant a Chinese restaurant they have a family diner I've been to that one a few times down the street they have another sidewalk restaurant like alfresco style restaurant very lovely i think i'm in new york i'm having new york trauma listening to those sirens uh yeah my hair is yep it looks like it got wet all right so i spent 11 dollars at the market let me just get the smudge off my camera Boy is staring at me. He better pay attention to the road. What you looking at? Stranger. People be looking at me. And I'm like, what are you looking at, stranger? Anyway, so I'm walking back from the store with my cute little bag. It's noisy out here. I will not compete with this traffic noise get back into the forest I feel so fancy bringing my own bag to the store and when they say how many people bags did you use I was like zero ah. <laughs> hello somebody's shouting at me kicking some game I guess so walking to the store is where you meet single men. Actually, they're not single. Good looking men are out here today. There's one up there and another over there and another down here. Well, I need to get across the street anyway. Okay. Okay. It's my turn. I have only 10 seconds. That is cruel. But there's no shoulder here so this time i'm gonna walk on the other side and i'm gonna cross now because i don't have any sidewalk here to walk in the grass i find it weird there's no walking path here are we not supposed to be walking here so the other day one night i got up and was walking around the neighborhood inside where i live oh my hair is wet See all them foolishness, yeah, man. Anyway, I wouldn't trade living in the rainforest or anything. So I got up and I went walking. And after I walked, I walked all around 360 degrees. I was hungry. I worked up an appetite. So I said, with my sweaty, tired self, I'm going to walk to the family diner where I just um, was. And I walked out here. But by the time I got out here, it was dark. There are no street lights in many parts of Connecticut, New York, too. But right here, where there are so many houses, there was no street light. I was walking in the dark. And when I, I'm not a kind of person who is afraid very easily. But when I tell you I was afraid, I called my friend on video call to have her keep my company. Sometimes I turn down the light on my camera, the flashlight. Other times I turn it back off because I was wondering, should I have the light on so the oncoming cars can see me? Or should I turn it off? So an unknown assailant can't see me. I thought I was going to be, oh, okay, ADHD kicking in. Take a look at the river. I was so scared of either being attacked because I believe that people are inherently bad. And some people will disagree and say people are inherently good. Um, I kind of, I'm only making a generalization. I believe a lot of us are just inherently bad as human beings. And we will do something if we can get away with it. And I am walking on a street like this where you don't see a lot of brown people. Am I on the wrong side? Oh. And I'm just thinking to myself, what kind of neighborhood do I live in? Do I have to worry? I was so scared. It was so dark. Here are the power lines. But there are no bulbs. So it was dark. Oh, my. these people have a these people have a stream in their backyard. Oh my goodness! They have a back patio sitting right on the river, 
and the fire pit on the other side of the river. That is adorable. How do you get to live? Who do you have to be to have this running in your backyard? How much money do I have to make to afford my own stream? Oh man, that's what I want. So anyway, I was walking out here and I was scared as ship. But I prayed, I walked briskly. I had my friend on the phone and I made it back to the gate safely. I mean, I was scared. I thought I was gonna be that girl in that scary movie who did that stupid thing that everybody said, go back, go back, don't do that. But like I said, I get up randomly and I choose violence. I could have taken an Uber, even though I wondered how long the Uber would take because I don't live near to a downtown like where is Uber just sitting around here waiting for me? I don't know. Anyway, this walk feels so good. But if you know me though, you know I'm a walker. You've seen many of my videos where I've gone hiking or I am in another country and I'm just walking all day. I love walking and when I'm not walking, I'm sitting down. I'm not a thrill seeker, I'm an adventure seeker. So I will not be zip lining. I will not be, well, I would be white water rafting. That's what I would do. But you will not find me ATVing, zip lining, um, any of those stuff that my sister like. You will only find me at a street party, like the Independence one I went to last year, but that's it. I'll be walking and going, oh, every time I see a little bit of water trickling, something is up here. If there's a path, if there's a path, I want to go on it and see what's up there. There's no sign saying private property, so... I must say it's fair game. Phew! Yeah, these cars are way too close to me. There is really no shoulder out here. It's not for walking. Look how small the path is. There's just enough space for my little body. They must be wondering, who is this crazy? walking out here in a dress no less if she were wearing leggings it would make way more sense so this sign this is the lions club but what is up there camp so there's a camp up this road where is it up there on Zealand there's a road. Oh, there it is. I would love to know what's up there. It says Kansan Bottle Collection Center. Something benefiting the community. Happy Hill. Huh. I want to go up there. See what's up there. One day I think I will. Hmm. There's a lot of cans and bottles on the side. But what is it for? Right, so the road stretch ahead of me. I'm almost back. Where am I gonna post a video this long? I don't know. I have a subscription channel on Instagram and I have one on TikTok. I wanted to get a, a channel. What do they call those channels? I wanted to get a channel on Instagram where I could post these stuff, you know, a day in the life, what I eat in a day hair care routine where I'm going today but one day Instagram just asked me if I wanted a subscription channel I was waiting to get a regular channel so I was like of course I'll take it but now I can't keep up with it a video this long maybe 30 minutes where do I put it YouTube is the best place for long videos but I have it in vertical mode um, I can post it in my subscription channel but Instagram only take 30 minutes only take 10 minutes in its channel period so where do i put this because i can't put it on my business page because while it's mildly entertaining this is not on business and i stand on business 80 percent of the time <laughs> but yeah where do i post a video like this and do you want to see more a day in the life or a moment in the life of me okay, this is not my day my day hasn't even started yet a moment in the life of me the other day I went to a lovely restaurant. Oh, I wanted to make a video about this. 
I'm almost back home and when I'm closer to home I'm gonna make a video about um, the restaurant I stopped at the other day purely by chance it turned out to be such a delightful place everybody was asking how was the food how was the food my sister was like I don't care about the place tell me what the food was like I'll share that in another video oh my god stay tuned for that this walk feels good though I don't know where my phone is storing all of this because I turn on the highest quality setting so anyway I try not to show if there's a neighborhood if there's a house in the background I try not to show it or something water just fell on me but I think it fell from the tree better not be rain because I made it all the way but I did have my hat in my bag I love this neighborhood people are always waving at you so cool nobody waved at me in New York City yes I said it New York City what what um, the guard I don't think the guard is looking at me she's wondering if I live here at the guard house and now I'm back in Phew. you know the other day I went walking and I felt so out of breath and I knew something was wrong with me but right now I was more out of breath when I started walking now I feel great tired but the weird thing is I don't know if this is everybody tell me if this is everybody because <laughs> he's smiling at me <laughs> he's smiling and waving he's handsome too he has a Santa Claus vibe going with the white beard <laughs> but um tell me if this is just me because I know when you you walk you're supposed to feel tired but I feel like I don't know this so tell me it's like when you it's like when you run your car and it recharges the battery I feel like walking does that too because when I'm walking I could walk forever when I started out like I said oh I know I was out of breath I was going up a slope I don't like the doctors I have been to the doctor in a very long time except when I went to do my eye testing for my license so someone please tell me if there's a reason why I am out of breath when I go up the tiniest slope I love hiking and I was hiking one day see I'm here in Connecticut before I moved up here and it was a very steep hike and I couldn't make it up I thought my heart was about to burst but I kept pushing and pushing when I tell you I could not get my legs to go any faster what is that and then when I was in Switzerland the other day and we got to the top of the mountain to Jungfrau my heart was beating but I could hear it I was hearing my heart some days I can't even feel my heartbeat right now I can't even feel it I don't know where to feel for it but when I was on Jungfrau I was hearing my heart beating I was so scared in the in the video of Switzerland that I posted it in my subscription channel it's like 10 it's 20 minutes of footage plus more to come so I don't post on my business page if you want to watch it you gotta subscribe you know you gotta put a ring on it subscribe to my page go to my profile you should see the word subscribe there tap on it if I post a story and it says subscribe actually the link is not there but I post it in there I was out of breath in Switzerland of course I was at a very high altitude so I'm not gonna blame my health anybody would be sick at that high altitude if you ever see how far the cable sitting here we go far and then we got to the top without we're there we took another train to get to the top top and they told us we wouldn't have any legs it was almost like being weightless because they told us our legs would feel like jello we weren't completely weightless like astronauts but they told us our legs would feel like jello hold on let's catch a view of this water through there I don't know why seeing little bodies of water makes me so it's not it's not it's not an ocean because I can't stand the ocean I said it what what but not a beach person I came from Jamaica why do you think they put me out I don't like the beach but anyway that little bit of water right there could have bullfrog no matter what it have in it that's my jam if you like small bodies of water give me a shout out you're my people so anyway my heart was pounding like crazy the Australian lady I was walking with she was a nurse she 
checked my heartbeat was hers wasn't beating like mine and she's older than I am by maybe 10 years anyway clearly I made it back so it was, it was all good but watch me going up this tiny and watch how different my breathing is going to get I'm already breathing harder so it's kind of leveled now I've come up it it's a small slope from that end coming this way though it slopes the slope is a little longer like incline is a little more continuous right here with a short incline now I'm leveled out but I feel like here it's harder to talk but it's level I shouldn't it shouldn't be so hard to talk why am I talking between breaths yeah this is weird this is what I want to stop doing so the next time I walk I should not be breathing like this even if I just walk how many minutes that's 19 minutes now and maybe I did 25 minutes to go doesn't matter if I walk 40 minutes I shouldn't be breathing like that so hopefully on my next walk I'm going downhill now will that make a difference let's see anyway my Switzerland oh yeah so when I got back from Europe I hope to have posted all my videos from all the countries I went to I went to six or seven countries but by the time I got back I was moving I was late filing my taxes on purpose um, because of the ADHD I sometimes I don't do things when I'm supposed to do it and I will just sit and watch the time pass because I can't bring up myself to do it especially when it requires signing in and signing in and looking up last information and looking up all kind of stuff it was too much and I was filing it myself so anyway I spent after I got back from my trip in April I was packing right after I got back I found a place that I really liked and so I was I started packing I was packing from the year before so by the time everything got done and I moved in I didn't have time to edit the videos because I had a lot going on and every day I look at the videos but I had to get back to work and hit the ground running is my parfait broken I had to get back to work to see if I can make back the money I spent in Europe and so I have not posted the video so it's a walking path here and they put a crossing here so that means walk on the crossing and since I don't want to get thrown out of my own neighborhood I'm walking on the crossing over there is very beautiful this is what I came for this is why I moved not because I couldn't walk to the store in New York because the store was literally across the street but here I get a lot of nature while I'm walking to the store this is what I want See? Um, I'm in danger of getting hit by a golf ball, a golf ball though but anyway um, I didn't edit those videos I have so many of them and then it is so hard to post them now because they're gonna be out of context because I'm wearing a coat like why am I wearing a coat and it's now dead of summer but I'm gonna post the videos only because I promised myself I would post them. I make a lot of them for I made some for literacy. I spoke with a few people who taught me a few words in their language, like in in in, in Belgium. No, a Dutch country. In the Netherlands, this guy taught me how to say some stuff when ordering food. In Germany, a lady taught me how to order was it ice cream I was ordering. And then um, this other girl told me when I was crossing over from France to England. This girl taught me some words in French. That video has a very noisy background. I don't know if I'll be able to post it. But I made those on my literature channel. And then in Scotland, the tour bus driver taught me some things in Scottish, in Scottish Gaelic. Gaelic. I think he says, they say Gaelic. Ireland says Gaelic. The Moors. The Moors are having the best life. But yeah, pause. Okay, the Moors are gone. I think they are having the best day ever because all they do is ride around on their mower to cut the grass enjoying all the beautiful scenery now I turned off the regular path to walk this way so I'm gonna enter from the back because I wanted to walk by the swimming pool onto the pool I don't know if I will go to the pool and there's a tennis court there are four more pools. This is one of the smaller ones. This is the pool by me, but I haven't gone. Anyway, there's always something flying in my face, but my friend always talks about bugs and flies and blah, blah, blah. None of that bothers me. The only thing that would give me a little fear is 
um, a snake. Okay, I'm cutting through the bush. So I'm gonna go through here. It's a slope. Can't show too much because it's the back of my yard. But I'm going up the hill. I'm stepping over pine cones. Hang on a second. Are these pine cones? This is not pine cone. Because there's a bigger one. Is this a pine cone? Because you know the fatter one. I'm gonna see another one when I get up the hill. But this is this is different from the other one that's up top. Well, we'll see. You'll tell me if it's a pine cone or not. Phew. Okay. Why did I walk in the back? I don't have a key for the back. Or maybe I do. Do I have it on me is the question. Oh, they were here. They did the grass. You can see the lines in it. I don't know if you can see it, but I see it. So does that mean all the pine cones are gone? Hang on. Does the mower pick up the pine cones? Because it looks like they're all gone. Oh, no. Oh, it's the same kind. I thought they were bigger, though. Okay. Put a bunch of mushroom in the grass. Oh, the mower didn't get that. Okay, so this is the same. This is me stopping to smell the pine cones. Yep. That's my life. Should we get a picture out here? Let's get a picture. Oh, yes, let's get a little video. I'm outside in the back. So I said I had my tote bag that I bought in Paris, but I'm going to get a customized bag with my name on it. I'm going to work on that today. I'm going to make it today. Get my name on it. I'm going to make one for my friend too. Oh, my sister's going to want one. So that's what I wore to the store and these I bought at Burlington it's my only like you know I made a new dress from Sheen and I bought this I forgot where I bought this I bought this many years ago could have been Zara and these little earrings I don't know Dollar Tree or the little store near my house and my choker from Sheen and that's my outfit but I don't know since I'm sweating like a you know what I will have to go take a shower right now get my hair off of my neck it's too sticky all right so that was a day in the life of me going to the market to get two things that turned into three things. I'll have my parfait for lunch because I keep eating so heavy and I can't get, like I don't digest fast enough so that I'm able to eat again. So I thank you guys for keeping my company on this trek. I'm walking in the plants. I thank you for going with me on this trek, keeping my company, listening to my story. Anyway, subscribe to my page and YouTube and Instagram. And if you want to see anything else in the day of the life of me, let me know. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I got changed and that is what I'm wearing. I decided to stick with the white theme today. So I'm wearing these flowers, this and this dress that I made and my same shoes. This dress is too cute. I made this one in, I wore it on my birthday photo shoot 2023. It's perfect for the outdoors.